the fertilization happen where when the sperm and the egg cell meet. When at that time the sperm will penetrate the egg cell, so that the sperm can give its DNA to the egg cell, and then the egg will in nine months will develop into a baby. This is the male reproductive cell. It is made in the seminiferous tubules. It is called the sperm. It has three main parts, which is the head, the neck, and the tail. Next, my friend Axel is going to tell you more about the parts at sperm. Uh, so this is the sperm. Uh, the sperm contains three parts, which is the head, the middle piece, and the tail. The head contains the nucleus and the acrosome. The acrosome is a vessel containing an enzyme to penetrate the outer membrane of the egg cell. Uh, the middle piece contains of mitochondria, uh, which can help the flagellum uh, move. And uh, the tail part contains the flagellum, which can help the sperm move around and go to the egg cell. This is an egg cell. It is produced by ovaries and it is a female reproductive cell. And it consists of nucleus, mitochondria, and cytoplasm. The function of egg cell is to join with male reproductive cells, which is sperm, and the, for the purpose of reproduction. Egg cell is big in size because it consists of nutrients. The main purpose of Egg cell is to join with male reproductive cells, which is sperm, to do a reproduction. This is the nucleus of the egg cell. It, it is placed in the middle of the egg cell, and it contains genetic material in the form of chromosomes. It is where all the genes are placed. This is the zona pellucida, the outermost layer of the egg cell. And it's most communication between all the sites and follicle cells, and during oogenesis. And it regulates interaction between the mature egg cell and the swimming sperm around it. Uh, the innermost layer is called the corona radiata. It is the most inner, it is the innermost layer of the egg cell, and it is the main pur and its main purpose is to supply vital proteins to the egg cell. And the cytoplasm is the um, gel-like substance inside the egg cell. It is for containing all the internal structures and holding it in place. An average fertilized man produces around 20 million sperms each day. And when sexual intercourse happens, the sperm is released from the male body to the female's body. And this is where the sperm is going to swim their hardest to meet the egg cell and fertilize them. After the sperm cell penetrates the egg cell, uh, the sperm cell will fertilize the egg cell and will end up being a baby.